that was. Not only to scoop it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week, he's smiling. Bryant tacks on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. That's fielded in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And he finds the tight end, Reed. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Gurley. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. Wilson. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Defensive end, Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Wilson. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. That's the Hall of Famer, Lawrence Taylor, doing what he does best. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Now how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Here we go on fourth with Wilson. And going deep for Hill. And got his man complete. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Tyreek Hill, 88 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Todd Gurley. Space to maneuver at the 40. Todd Gurley, wave goodbye. A big run there by Gurley. 51 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Here's Gurley. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Not quite the success they had last play. This one goes for three yards. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Odell Beckham that time. And it's third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Out of the 
gun. Elway. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the all-pro free safety, Earl Thomas. And a terrific return as he'll take it up past the 35. Well, they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other plans. They were already in field goal range. But boom, an interception. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board. But give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and 11. Now Wilson. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Demarcus Lawrence, his second sack of the night. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off by John Johnson. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So as they take it over, we step aside. Recon, 152 fighter. Five, five. After the interception, here's Elway. And he is going to go down. He will be sacked on the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a second down coming up. Now that after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Play action. Elway. Eluding the pressure right. And boy, that one drops incomplete. But if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the Bro, you got to fix your shit, bro. This shit is lagging, like something vicious. I can't even play. This is ridiculous. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. Only way to play good defense. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Hey, Sam off. From the gun, it's Elway. And this time he's got the hook up. It's complete. And he'll go down shy of the floor. Really is lagging something vicious on they every 13, play. But it's not nearly enough. And it'll be fourth down. Fourth down. Now let's see. Yeah, the offense still out there. They elect to go on fourth and 11. They'll try and throw for it with Elway. And my goodness, this I can't do shit with this fucking lag, bro. Like he had it and dropped it. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. Well, Charles taking a step back for a second. Let's look at the undefeated the, team. Why? Come on. KC, they're 4-0. And then San Fran, they were open last week. They didn't have a game, so they're still at 3-0. We only have three teams left. And they had the easiest path, not just because they had the open week, but how about New England getting challenged by Buffalo? Yes, they were on the road. Can I pick my play? God damn, bro. I can't even judge. They did. And Kansas City, they got a heck of a test in Detroit. Had to score with 20 seconds left it's on the most clock annoying fucking to win that shit, game. Bro. So both of them remained undefeated, but not without struggles. That's the interesting thing about Buffalo. I think we learn more about them in their one loss this year than we have in their three victories. I think we would say the same thing about Kansas City. Literally only because I'm lagging, bro. Only because I'm lagging. I don't thing understand why Detroit. it's not letting me do Kansas shit. City in that game. First catch there for OBJ, and that good for a first down. First and 10 at the 47 yard line. Now Wilson on first down. And an alley to run. And he'll avoid the Can't fucking adjust my play. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Only reason this game's so even close because of that shit. I was be destroying this week, guys. Oh, bro. They'll run out of the gun with Camara. 
And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. To throw on second and six, Wilson. Oh, my God. This is crazy. And he has another first down. As get, get this shit together. Twenty-yard line. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. On first and ten, it's Wilson. Out to his left. I really They'll can't do shit because it's fucking lag, bro. And it's second down. He'd had some success as a runner previously on this drive, just not as much space there that time. Yeah, this time when he pulled it down, they were ready for him. So wow. Come back. God damn. Again. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson, Reggie White, able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face Bro, it. Fix your this shit. offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. And the pressure gets to him again. Von Miller doing what he does best with a sack. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game. The way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up. Bro, this is the most bullshit fucking game I've ever played. Yeah, I'm pressing triangle, god damn. You know, circle, circle. The sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? They're lagging so bad. Right up and gave them exactly what they needed. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five. As The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This Bruh, is today's NFL. This is ridiculous. You I can't even call fucking plays. You, opportunity. you could never have enough points with the high powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you. Try and score when given. And now this is This is fucking bullshit. I pressed the button so fucking long ago. God damn. A solid stiff arm. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Short throw pick six right there. Those Only losing because it's fucking lag, bro. When those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch this shit the is ridiculous. and take it in the opposite direction. Nigga's not even good. <laughs> it's crazy. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20. Literally losing because it's fucking lag, bro. Can't even call plays. Like, it takes so long to call a play. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They find themselves down 17 to 7 as they start this drive. I don't understand. I really don't fucking stand. I really don't. Back to the air. Elway after the pick six. He finds his target. Back him. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Give him a couple on the catch at second. And eight. I just want to pick a play. God damn it. Jeez. You're able to hit a receiver. Why is it moving like he can this? Pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get, get your shit Steve together. Down. It keeps saying your shit's network issues, bro. Fix your shit. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Play action. It's Elway. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. I just want to see, bro. Incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. You won, bro. You won. Because that shit, I'm not doing that shit, bro. Your lag is fucking incredible. I can't even quit the game. This is crazy. Pressing X. God damn.
Worst fucking lag I've ever been through, bro.